Hello YouTube Nation, today I want to start out with talking about sugar cravings. We all had those, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on your body type. For me sugar cravings are, can be, not are, that's, that's what I'm saying, can be very hard because I'm a sugar addict. So if I just give in a little bit at, at some days, I'm just gonna, might be starting binge eating. But that's also external stress factors that are going to be affecting that. And that's from person to person different, from body to body different. Really depends on you and your body. You know best how it is. So as far as if you have those sugar cravings, there's different approaches you can take. One is, of course, you can make up one day where you're going to do a cheat day. But and I'm talking about cheat day is let's just go on a little bit of your macros and have that or even stay under your macros a bit, I mean take your macros exactly to the point and have like some kind of uh, sugar retreat in it to f either fill your macros up or just go a little bit over it so we actually have a sheet cheat day or how I like to refer to the refeed day as far as the sugar goes that would be one option the other option is if you can do that you can just have every single day a little bit of sugar you can might, might be even if it's chocolate it could be as well switch over to dark chocolate it is bitter but you might be liking the taste and it's way better than milk chocolate the other option is of course what you can do you can um, do like soda or artificial sweeteners which you have to look out if it's really a healthy option and yeah the problem with it it's a little bit expensive for instance you could be using syrups like Walton Farm syrups it's famous I bet you have heard of it it is pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good and has zero calories you can do jellos the sugar free jellos Either the snack pack that are not in the refrigerator, I think it has 5 calories, but I do not like the taste of it. Uh, or you could be doing um, the refrigerated versions that are like t roughly 10 calories. You could somehow have 5 calories as well, and they're tasting way better. You could be doing puddings, low sugar puddings, they're normally like 60 calories, like the jello ones, the sugar free ones. You could be doing that. You could be doing whipped cream out of the can, the fat-free one. You could be, um, if you like cereal, you could be doing healthier choices. I like cashews, the with the protein in it. You can be do, you could be doing that. You have even have uh, sugar-free ice cream, like little like pops. They're like I think they're 15 calories for one. Popsicle, don't quote me on that one. The sugar free ones, they're pretty good too. You could be even going higher, you could be doing like real, real ice cream, but the healthy versions of it, like the Halo, Halo Tops, Enlightened, Skinny Cow, Priors. There's a lot coming out right now, even the store brands. Aldi has their own brand. I think even Win Dixie has their own brand. Also, I have never seen them at our local Win Dixie. But I've seen it at Kroger, for instance. The, uh, you could be doing that. You could be doing substitutions like, um, like diet soda. You could be doing tea with stevia or other sweetener. I just thought about something else, but I forgot. Um, 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 let me just think. Wait, wait for a second. Maybe I can remember it. But I forgot what the other op what the other option was one name anyways there's like a lot of other options or you can make your own tea with, with sweetener you can buy um, sweet tea diet sweet tea just to, just to satisfy cravings instead of going to sugar or well, yesterday I showed you the sugar-free cookies which are a little bit high in calories so I wouldn't just say oh other option yes now I know what rice cakes rice cakes I really like them they're good good option there could be like um, the caramel, the chocolate, you have other flavors as well. Like if you buy like the Quakers, you even have small ones like barbecue, sriracha. So it's, if you have chips cravings, and uh, they're pretty good in calories. And if you use them as a treat, works out. Could be 
doing like other one almond milk you could be trying to put in um, almond chocolate milk if you like that there's like tons and tons and tons of options but most of them are a little bit more expensive like the Walden farm syrup is expensive and you get a small bottle hello chops if you don't buy them on sale are expensive of course those are not like the budget oriented ones and to be honest when I had my 80 pounds my first initial 80 pounds I didn't have any of the cravings nowadays sometimes I have it but I have lots of more stress factors and the, for my body that's just over time it just goes into that but it really depends I just want to let you guys know ju just don't just don't hold back too much like that that you have all the cravings and you just don't do it then you're gonna be doing bit the problem most like you're gonna be binge eating one day you're gonna have enough and then you cannot stop so try to fit it in your diet maybe in a cheat day maybe on a daily basis maybe on a, every couple of days or use the more expensive if you have, have it in your budget use the more expensive version i just named a lot of them which are kind of uh, giving you your sweet tooth without uh, messing, messing up your weight loss it's, it's all, 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 as I said, I said many, many times, the macros, it's all, it fits your macros, it works out. And those like low calorie options that are really tasty and sweet tasting, if it, that's what it is, what it is. Oh, now I remember what I say, nuts are like a good substitute for um, chocolate cravings, although they're a little bit higher in fat, but then... You also have like protein powders if you just want a taste of, of some stuff like the good ones as i told you like one of my favorite ones the diamond ice the peanut butter peanut butter chocolate one tastes like tastes like amazing 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 and you can bake with it make it balls make it brownies whatever if you want that stuff you can buy also fat free brownies so there's well tons of options the only your wallet is is the only de deterrent not to do that but don't, 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 That's, uh, my only advice that I wanted to say is don't just wait till it's too late and you start binging or or you, uh, or you just uh, just go, uh, have enough and break your diet and say, oh, I'm not going to do it because I cannot do that. Just try to make it fit your macros. Over time, it's going to be all worth, worth it and you're still going to lose your weight. There's lots of people out there where you see they have a once a week cheat day and it's going to be working out so that's what i just wanted to say just uh, just don't starve your uh, starve yourself deprive yourself of the sugar that you want Welcome back to my famous post-workout show seen by probably four or five people. Anyways, I like it. It's for me, as I said multiple times before. I'm gonna talk about my lift today. Overhead press, increase it to 130 pounds for five sets by five straight sets as always. Which means a five pound increase. Mm, the C press I didn't increase. I left it in last week's but it felt better. The um, Arnold press, I don't think, because I'm a little tired. The Arnold press I increased as well by five pounds for two sets only, so I had 55 pounds for two sets. And then the other ones I did 50 pounds again. The other lifts were like minor ones, so they're not, not worth talking about. Those are the major ones I wanted to talk about. But that's it, I'm about to take a shower. I'm still think, thinking if I have to go shopping, which I have, what I'm getting, 
because my budget is zero dollars and I need to buy protein. Protein is the most expensive part as you guys know. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do and what's on sale. Maybe something is like on clearance because it expires. I have to stop by another store on the way then. I don't know if I'm going to go to Aldi's or going to go straight to Costco because I need bananas as well. And I'm going to show you something with bananas, a trick. If I buy them there or at Aldi's, if I go to Aldi's because Aldi's has them for 44 cents a pound. Costco is, I think, what is it, like three, four pounds? What is it, three pounds for dollar thirty nine here? But they're normally like mashed up, brown, yucky. So Aldi would be the better choice. A new Aldi, I found another location which is like superb, brand new location, and they their like veggies are par on par. So some locations it's like a little iffy, but I will see what I can do. Maybe I can do some footage, maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna treat myself today because guess what? Today is Reese Pieces free donut for Krispy Kreme reward members. But unfortunately, there's no Krispy Kreme on the way. And I do not feel like driving out of my way for like a, what is, what's gonna be a third dollar thirty donut. And if I'm gonna do open that gate, my sugar addiction is gone, 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 gonna kick in. Ah, by the way, today last day of my meal prep. Uh, meal prep that I did for with the video last day. I'm eating up all that stuff. It's gonna be interesting I might be cutting out the cream beans or not towards the end. I don't know yet. Depends how I feel today I'm fe actually feeling fairly good. Not as starving as the last couple of days. But that's a plus. So see you guys in the next segment Enjoy So a cheap protein source Finding expedition was a failure up to this point. We just went to Win Dixie. They don't have anything on clearance for a nice price. They have some other stuff like I would love to have, like some beef. Buy one, get one, like a London broil top or something like that. But but uh, it's not not in the budget. It would have been still like four dollars a pound. Not in the budget. So we will see. If Ali has some chicken, I don't want chicken, I want, technically want crown turkey. So either it's gonna be Aldi or it's gonna be uh, at Costco. Costco is cheaper than Aldi, I think. Trader's Joe would be another option where it's even cheaper. It's a two, two, uh, 250 a pound, but it's totally out of the way. Yet. So I spend money in gas. I don't know how much they have. And it's not gonna be, it's gonna be pointless wasting my time and driving all the way over there if I, if I can, if I spend like, 60 cents more and get it at Costco or 80 cents or a dollar depending like how big it is so we will see hopefully Aldi has something because I really need the pro pro a nice protein source okay that was it for now we're on our lovely way kids are having fun unfortunately there's no other Vin Dixie on the way that I can check out because it closed down I don't know what's, what's going on with Vin Dixie I don't know what's going on with my camera because I'm so light 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 so that was my update. We're we'll checking out Aldi. I might not buy anything and we will see. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Keep a little bit more information here. Oh yeah, because I'm going to add a light right now. I can also say, like guys, if you're on a budget, just try to shop for the best thing. Don't waste your money on, on sugar stuff. Just spend it on a nice protein, uh, protein source. I still have protein powder at home. But the problem with protein powders, I like to have it in the morning. I will show you guys tomorrow my breakfast. Maybe I'm doing a whole day of eating, but I don't know yet. Tomorrow, is, tomorrow or the next four days is a little problematic filming. But uh, it goes through my body way too fast, the protein powder. Even the isolate or the casein is a little bit better, but it's still fairly fast. And I don't feel like spending money on, on uh, casein powder right now but I'm, tomorrow I'm gonna have finally back my Creek yogurt. I prefer Creek yogurt in the morning instead of eggs. The reason why I'm gonna have Creek yogurt also is on the budget, I still have to have two. And the Creek yogurt is fairly cheap at Target. Guys, check it out, they lower the price of the, they didn't fit the, the, uh, the tops, so you have to measure out yourself. There's four servings in there, one serving is 130 calories, 225 grams, so you can do half a serving. But they lower it from 4.99 to 2.80, vanilla. 
so it is a cheap 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 price so so if you guys looking looking for like a uh, nice pro, uh, protein source for the morning Greek yogurt is nice I like it and it's target at least our target had lower the price like majorly like you can see like 499 to 280 or 89 and for that price you cannot beat it any anywhere else so just a little tip if you guys are looking for Greek yogurt check out your local target that might have it for the same cheap price it's a Denon light and fit no fat 225 grams or it's 227 like a, I think it's 225 grams and it has 130 calories the vanilla one check it out if you need it my tip of the day so we were successful at all these not with protein but with bananas that look good I bought like six pounds of bananas and I will show you like how to keep them fresh and nice later when we come home and it's more like a treat than a chore so in the morning it's gonna be lovely to eat it like that I will show you I know I'm weird because I like sitting on the floor but I always did so uh, why not do it in a video that way and now we're coming to the trick that I wanted to tell you guys about so I prefer my bananas yellow like this no dots nothing and the trick is, so I can keep them like that, I peel them already now, cut them into pieces and put them in a the bag like that, put them in pieces, pieces is because you will see tomorrow morning when I'm making my oatmeal, I just have it in pieces and put it in there, so see, like this. And then the rest. The funny part about me, and I learned that, that my mom is the same way, so I learned it from her. For some apparent reason, I never eat the last piece of the banana, like on the bottom, the bottom piece. I never, I don't like it. I don't know why. There's always a black thing there. I don't eat it. So but that's it. That's the trick. And the trick is now you put it in the freezer. But we're gonna cut all of them in individual bags. They're gonna be one serving each time. I don't measure out bananas. A couple of calories more or less. I, I put them in at 100 grams, about 87 calories. If I get 22 more calories, who cares? It's a banana. So those are gonna be in the freezer. They're gonna be put tomorrow in my oatmeal. They're staying a little bit frozen, so it feels like ice cream, like a treat while you're eating your healthy oatmeal. It's a nice trick to know. And if you buy bananas and you don't like them like brown or they go to waste all the time, this is how you can preserve them. And you never run out of bananas because you always have them ready in the freezer. And once you run low, you can restock them and you don't have to go to the store. They might have cream bananas. Our shops always have cream bananas. Always when I need them, they're cream. But that's my trick I wanted to show you guys. Put them in the freezer. I'll show you tomorrow morning. If I don't forget, my breakfast with this lovely trick. Oh, I forgot the update. So at Costco, I managed to get some protein. Uh, I bought crown turkey because I just feel like it can make it fresh. Two fifty nine a pound. It's decently priced. I don't have to spend a lot of time cutting it. Still, it's way over the budget, so I have to see. But I got how many pounds did I get? Like for seven days worth. Like you know how the four pack are. If you Costco member, you know exactly how much it is. I think it should be like. Six days worth of food for seventeen dollars, roughly seventeen fifty, whatever. So we will see what I'm going to do, get into next. I need actually some bread for Publix. I didn't feel like going, but we will see what's going to be next. Maybe I can do another video. I want to go on a walk. It's raining. I'm doing still laundry. Kids get some food, and that's my update. Keep you guys informed what I'm doing, and maybe I'm going to do a full day of eating tomorrow. Which is a little tricky because unplanned for. Oh, and we didn't go to Krispy Kreme. I didn't feel like wasting gas. And the Krispy Kreme is good, but I don't feel like right now I should do it because if I have it, all the sugar, I'm gonna go and sh binge eating. I don't need that right now. So I'm being a little, not allowed because the kids are in the dining room and they can hear everything. And once they hear me saying Krispy Kreme, they want a donut. So we didn't go. I cancel it. A free donut, whatever. Now they're listening. Okay guys, that was my update and my little secret. This one I tell what the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's called toilet. Okay, hey YouTube Nation, you know what time it is. I actually just finished the intro. At the end of the day, it's my, vo my voice is like a little late. I just had to clean up the dining room. Had enough of it. 
So I just want to let you guys know it was a, was a great day. Shopping wise took longer. The kids didn't behave that well. So I was a little bit fed up. I got my crown turkey. I got the dishwasher tabs, which was really important. The bananas, I showed you my trick, freezing them. And if you probably know it, know that trick already. I discovered it recently, just out of luck. Like I'm like, uh, what, what should I do? with they're gonna get too ripe too fast? I'm like, oh, let's start freezing them, man. But it's, I think it's just amazing in the morning when you do your oatmeal. You have this half frozen bananas That's in it. Baby it just gives you the extra, like you kick you. You think you have like ice cream. Baby. But maybe it's just me and my, my weird taste. But tomorrow morning I'm gonna be cooking fresh, fresh, fresh. So Annabelle, can you just not do it in front of my face when I'm talking? Thank you. And, and now it's all your bedtime. So tomorrow I hopefully can do a full day of eating because I'm cooking it fairly fresh, the ground fresh, the breakfast fresh. I can show you like what are my usual breakfast is like this last time tap. days with the eggs. I my normally don't cook. Okay. okay, this last last couple of days this was not was not not that usual for me. I don't normally don't eat eggs in the morning. You will see tomorrow what I normally eat, except of course I'm gonna eat, take eat creek yogurt or or give away. I'm gonna eat creek yogurt, but it's gonna be out of the top instead of. Um, the containers, because I told you earlier, targets uh, uh, targets price like are right now are unbeatable for that, and what you get for the value. Uh, so you get you're getting like way more for the for your bang for your buck. You just have to do the dishes afterwards. The task it's not fun, not fun. Do many dishes every single day. That's the only good thing about not having meal prep right now is that I don't have to clean the containers because they take a lot of space up in the dishwasher. I have no idea what I'm going to cook for this one or for the other one to do over there. I just want to say th thanks guys. I don't know it's a lot of talking, but I'm trying to give it give it like some hints and hints throughout the video, video from now on what I'm doing to keep it to keep it thing. So maybe I just thought about it. maybe I should be buying some of the items that just I was talking about at the beginning about the sugar craving. Um, but uh, guys, let me know if you're interested in, in that, like what I can, what I do, or what you could do instead of like going on the binge. The only problem is like I really would want to do it right now, but it's not in the budget. So if people want to see it, if you if I get enough like uh, comments and people requesting it, then I would uh, stretch our budget and show you some of the options. I definitely have some here anyways, the Jello. And I can actually show you like a cheaper version Jello, unless you're gonna do it yourself, which comes out the cheapest. But it's like a prepackaged like the Jello ones, but it's a different brand, which actually has a little bit better calories and it's way cheaper. Like I think you're getting what are you getting six instead of four for two to two dollar fifty as a regular price, at least at our local store. So that that's that are good options as well. So I just say thanks guys for watching again. Like I'm gonna be putting on the social media somewhere up here. Or I already did it. Who knows? I will figure that out tomorrow morning. And guys, keep on watching. Have a fantastic time. Whatever you're doing, whatever your goals are, just keep on rocking it, and it's gonna work out. So, if anybody wants to say something to the people, oh, yeah. uh, okay, please, please. Yeah, no, but you're not in here. Please, please, please like and subscribe for more videos by Cutie Pie. So, Sebastian, you want to say anything? And her name is Cutie Pie, and her name is also Cutie Pie, because they're almost twins. So Sebastian, are you going to say anything, or are you, are you done? Yeah. Then come here for a second, because the video is already getting long, 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 long. People people just tend not to watch my videos till the end. Please, so. please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye. Don't have don't night. Okay, so that was everybody tonight. I know most people don't watch my to, to the end. I see the YouTube stats, but anyways, the the few people that do, thanks guys. I really appreciate. It. That at least helps me out a little bit to see that some people like my content. I mean, it's not that much going on, and I'm kind of 
particular with, with like what I show, what, when I show. I kind of have the uh, thing filming the whole time. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and see you guys fresh tomorrow. Tomorrow should be an arm day for me. See Bye. you guys.